Hi, good morning, my dear students. I'm Stephanie Ko. Welcome to my discussions. We will discuss how are we going to calculate the pH of weak acid and weak bases in this video. We already discussed about calculating pH of strong acid and strong bases in my last video. If you know the concentrations of the strong acid, then it is very straightforward to calculate the pH value of the strong acid by using the pH expressions. However, calculating pH value of weak acid and weak base is a bit complicated. This is because weak acid don't dissociate completely in water. Therefore, we need to determine the degree of dissociations or dissociations concern of the weak acid or weak bases first before we use the pH expressions to calculate the pH value of weak acid or weak bases. Now, let's go to the first part. What is degree of dissociation and dissociation constant? My dear students, acid dissociate and release hydrogen or hydrogen ions in the aqueous state. But dissociations differ according to the acid. So, are the pH equations for calculating pH of the strong acid and weak acid the same? Actually, we use the same pH expressions to determine the pH value of strong acid or weak acid. Calculating the pH of a weak acid is a bit more complicated than determine the pH of a strong acid. This is because for strong acid, practically 100% of the acid is dissociated. Therefore, the concentrations of the hydrogen ions is equal to the acid concentrations. So, we can use the pH equations directly to determine the pH value of the strong acid. However, weak acid dissociates partially in the water. Therefore, the concentrations of hydrogen ions is less than weak acid concentrations. My dear students, in order to determine the pH value of the weak acid, we need to determine the concentrations of hydrogen ions first. Therefore, by using upwards dilutions law, we can determine the concentrations of hydrogen ions. Lastly, by using the pH expressions, we can determine the pH value of the weak acid. To determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion in weak acid, we need the following information. For the degree of dissociations, we just need to divide the amount of substance that is ionized by the initial amount of the substance. Next, dissociations constant. If the dissociations constant involve weak acid, then we call it acid dissociations constant, which is Ka. If the dissociations constant involve weak base, then we call it as base dissociations constant, which is Kb. For example, acid dissociations constant, Ka, is a quantitative measure of the strength of an acid in solutions. In other words, Ka measure how completely an acid dissociates in an aqueous solution. When a weak acid HA dissolves in water, we can write the general equations for the ionizations of a weak acid in water like this. Then, applying the law of chemical equilibrium, the equilibrium constant for these dissociations is as follows. The concentrations of H2O is not found in the Ka equations. This is because the degree of dissociations of water is extremely small. Since Ka values of many weak acids are very low, therefore pKa values are used instead to compare the strength of weak acid with each other. Similar to pH, the value of Ka can also be represented as pKa, which is pKa is a negative log. A. Similar to the dissociations of weak base, this is the equations for base dissociations constant Kb. In this video, we will discuss the upwards dilutions law and its applications to weak electrolyte like weak acids and weak bases. This law is not 
applicable to strong electrolyte since their dissociation reaction is irreversible. Let's take the example of a weak acid dissociation to derive the dilution law. We will start with an equation for the acid dissociation constant. By using the table of ICE, we may substituting the equilibrium concentrations in Ka equations. Lastly, we have Ka is equal to C alpha power 2. To determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion dissociate in water, we may refer to the ICE table. From there, the concentrations of the hydrogen ion is equal to C alpha. My dear students, always bear in mind that if you want to calculate the pH value of weak acid or weak bases, we may use the ICE table or use the following equations to determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion in weak acid. Lastly, substituting the value of concentrations of hydrogen ion in pH equations. Next, let's go to the part of questions. From the questions one, we need to calculate the pH value of ethanoic acid. To determine the pH value of the acid, we can use these equations. Always bear in mind that if it is weak acid, then we can't use this formula directly, but we need to use certain equations to determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion first. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid. Therefore, we need to use the equations from upward dilution law to determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion. Then only we can determine the pH value of the ethanoic acid. For the first method, use the equations from upward dilution law directly. Then substituting the value of C and Ka into the formula, use the pH expressions to determine the pH value of ethanoic acid. Lastly, from the calculations, the pH value is 2.88. We may use the table ICE method to determine the concentrations of hydrogen ion, which is 1.319 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Next, questions 2a. We need to determine the concentrations of hydroxide ion in ammonia solutions. It is a weak base. Therefore, we can use this formula directly to determine the concentrations of hydroxide ion. Lastly, the concentrations of hydroxide ion is equal to 1.32 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mol dmq. For questions 2b, we need to determine the degree of dissociations of the ammonia solutions. So, we need this formula. From the calculations, lastly, the degree of dissociations of ammonia solution is 1.32%.